Right, I've um I'm going to change my charging system, alternate and what have you. Right, I'm just going to have a couple, I'm, I'm just going to maybe go through a few checks. So I'm just going to test my battery. This is my meter set on 20 DC volts. Hopefully we can see this, it's already got a 1 up there. So, I think this was about 11 volts or so. 11.83. So... I'll just fire it up without setting fire to it. And see what happens. Ignition on. There's me ignition on. So it's gone down from 8.3 to 7.3. Well, it's certainly doing something, but not giving me 13 volts. Right, I'm going to maybe check, I'm checking, I'm going to check the alternator, I think. Right, I've disconnected the two wires from out the loom. Right, I've got my meter on 200 ohms. Now I read somewhere it should be under, under one. That looks like... Not one point four three. Right. So I don't know whether that's good or bad. From there to one four one three. I'm going to stick it on 20,000 just to see what happens. Two, mm, 200, no, 2,000 thousand, I think. Or 2,000 K. Right, I'm going to go 20 K. One again, 200k, one again, 2000, right I don't know whether you can make out a tale of that or tell us what's what, 200. Right, now I'm going to go for voltage. 200 AC volts. Go for this one, get it back in. Right, hopefully you can still see that. Not away. I'm just going to fire it up and see what happens. Ignition on. See if it makes any difference. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure that gave me 30 odd volts the other day. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Hopefully I haven't blown my meter up. I bought this especially to do this. Uh, right, here we go again. I'm not going to do that again. That's the other. Eh? <laughs> right, the ignition on. Well, that alternator was kicking 40 volts out there, by the look of it. So it's probably the Zener or the rectifier what's at fault on this side. Right, you're going to whip me back out. That's what I've got in man. GT14B, biggest one I could find to get in there. Oh, there's the battery I used. Right, now I had my rectifier under there. That's my electronic ignition, so I'll probably I might have a tidy up in here. I certainly owe it to tidy up. And then where am I going to put me uh, podtronics? So I'm going to I'll probably whip me coil tree out as well. Yes, yes, whip me coil tree out. There's my Zenna. My um, rectifier. My Zenna's down in the standard place down here. So I'll be removing all them and I'm, I'll give them a test as well. Alright, now these my Zenna under here. So, uh, my Zenna. Ah, my reg my, uh, rectifier. Here's my rectifier, so I'll just whip that out. In fact, I think I can see me trouble. It's popped apart. Cracks in it. I don't know whether we can see. That's bust off. That must have strained that with a wire. Well, I think that's popped that like. I think that's my problem. I'm just not going to bracket up, basically just to hang me um, boiler ignition on. Um, that was out of a computer. I've just hacked that up. I'm just going to bend the... Uh, I've sort of cut down here so I can get a, a bend on there.
and I want a hole in about the middle there I reckon I'll do And I should get a ball through there, if it's the right size bolt. Maybe enough. Right, uh, well, so that's about it really. On the bike. The boy will fit up there like that. I'm just going to cable tie it again. And I'm just going to put it in the side panel. So, that's my new boy bracket. Right, my Podtronics thing, I've uh, just stuck it underneath the um, battery holder. I've used two coach bolts, so the rubber over that will protect the bottom of the battery. Um, a couple of spring clips and just tighten it up, should get plenty of airflow there. So, see how that goes, wonder what the green wire was they've chopped off. And then the wiring of this is fairly easy. Two yellow ones go to the alternator. Battery. And battery, or F. Right, I can get that up there. And then hopefully I'll just hang the boiler in there like that. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do me. My fingers crossed it doesn't snap off. We'll soon see. should just fit in there like that and hopefully it's out the way it's pretty out the way we sort of got a so-called single point grounding bit of rubber right, so I'll stick the rubber on there or on there six and two threes We'll put a piece there. Oh, I've got a long bit on there. I'm just sticking this on with silicon again. And then all this lot will get painted one day. And I'm running out of cable ties pretty fast. the right and goes really let's just see what happens here might work oh you fucking ass oh, look what I've just done didn't put the fucking clip in did I oh, a bit of recycling Fucked it now, bastard. Mm. 
Them days of washing I lost about 15 years ago. It's on the floor now. Solid that. Then there's my two alternator wires, they're going to come up here. Although, there might just be enough wire on the uh, box to get rid of them. So while I'm in here, I'll snip that off as well. That cable tie. Move them two wires. Right back in with the box. So now I've got my box under here. It's well bolted on. I'll pull them two yellow wires out of there because I want them to go down. I'm just sticking them up and out. These two have to come up. Well, can I get it all together? Because these are a pain in the ass usually. Oh. I'll try again, knock the bolts out of the way. Yeah, it might be this back edge of the podtronics thing. Measure twice, cut once. Oh, it is just touching my bloody git. I want that moving forward a bit then as much. Yes. Move the holes or cut them off the off the podtronics. I'd rather have as much heat sink as I can have on the podtronics. Send that the call for it. Yeah, I could take them fins off. It's these longer ones. Oh, I can move that forward quarter of an inch which I will do now I don't know how much we saw that yes if I, I can move this to this front edge that's what I should have done I forgot about the mudguard oh well all right I've, as you see well oh, these these are these are special drain holes these to let the water out from under the battery <laughs> Right, I've moved it right to the front. Do you think I should have measured again, or is it going to go in this time? That's going, that's in. Well, that'll do me. Really. 